I'd like to tell you a little bit about how to improve your green screen keying by showing you uh, a bit of a problem that I had the other day when I was working on a music tutorial. I have this instrument called uh, the Duke. I was doing a music uh, thing. Anyway, so let's take a look. Uh, we'll go up to Effect. Whoops. Just uh, select my my guy. Uh, we'll go up to Key Light. We'll grab my pen dropper. There we go. Now you'll notice that we, because of the green spillage in the room, it sort of seeped into my, my skin tones. And you can see how the mouthpiece is sort of transparent and there's some transparencies in the face. So that's not a great green screen. So I figured, well, I have an idea on what I might be able to do to improve this. So let's get rid of this. It's basically a three-step process that I came up with. Uh, the first step was just changing the, the color balance. And uh, I removed some of the green in the shadows, minus 10, minus 10 uh, green in the midtone, and uh, quite a lot of green gone in the highlights, so minus 32. So you'll notice here that although it's looking sort of magenta-ish, there's no green at all. It it's, looks quite green-free. So once I throw in key light again, uh, all that transparency is gone, and I have a pretty solid image, although it's kind of magenta looking. So, we'll, as step uh, three, we'll add some of that green back in in the uh, shadows, midtone, and uh, I made a bit of adjustment in the in the higher end here just to tie it in with the background. And then when we add some brightness contrast, shaboom! There we go. We have a fairly clean green screen that seems to tie in fairly well with the background. Got a little bit of green issue here by the window, but, uh, but I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, if you liked uh, today's tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and have yourself a wonderful day.